Tanzania is one of the nations whose economic growth rate is steadily increasing. The gross domestic product of the nation has increased by 4.6%, giving a round figure of an overall gross domestic product of over $70 billion since last year. The vast majority of business owners who control Tanzania's private sector are the main reason for the country's rising economic progress. The fact that it is one of the largest countries in Africa's eastern part is another contributing element. Tanzania has a total private wealth of $56 billion and a wealth per capita of $940. The country has 2,400 high net worth individuals, 80 multimillionaires, 8 centimillionaires, and 1 billionaire. With all of this wealth concentration, you can imagine how this relates to the wealth of some of Tanzania's most famous families. Today we are going to be looking at 25 of the wealthiest families in Tanzania, beginning with the 25th. 25. The Sheng Family The Sheng Family is one of the most famous families in Tanzania. They are famous for their stakes in CERDB Bank, Tanzania's largest privately held universal bank. The privatization of state-owned businesses by the Tanzanian government led to the establishment of the bank in 1996, leading Tanzanian pension funds and the Danish government-sponsored fund to become the bank's largest shareholders. In 2009, the bank went public on the Dar es Salaam stock exchange, and as of December 2019, it had more than 30,000 stockholders. The Sheikh family also holds several shares in NMD Bank, making them one of the wealthiest families on the Dar es Salaam stock exchange. The bulk of the family's fortune comes from Patrick Shegg's stake in both CRDB Bank and NMD Bank. Their combined assets are said to be worth over $10.9 million. 24. The Shirima Family the Shirima family is also famous for their stake on the Dar es Salaam stock exchange and their major stake in Precision Air, one of Tanzania's largest privately owned airlines. The bulk of the family's fortune is a result of Michael Shirima's stake in Precision Air, a company he co-founded and is the current chairman. The combined assets of the Shirima family are said to be worth over $12.2 million. 23. The Abdul Family the Abdul family is the family of Tanzanian musician Nasib Abdul Juma Isak, or better known by his stage name Diamond Platinums. Diamond is the cousin of Tanzanian socialite cum DJ, Romeo Abdul Jones, professionally known as Romy Jones. He also has two sisters, musician Queen Darlene and entrepreneur socialite Esma Platinums. The Abdul cousins are some of the wealthiest entertainers in Tanzania with Diamond Platinums at the helm of it all. Diamond Platinums is an accomplished musician. He is the founder and CEO of Wasafi Bet, Wasafi Media, and WCB Wasafi record label. Diamond is extremely popular in East and Central Africa. He became the first musician from Africa to reach a cumulative total of 1 billion YouTube views. The bulk of the Abdul family fortune comes from Diamond Platinums holdings in his various ventures. Their combined wealth is estimated to be worth over $12.6 million. 22. The Rajabali Family The Rajabali family is another well-known family with major stakes in the Dar es Salaam stock exchange, as well as other holdings in CRDB Bank and Plasco Limited. The majority of this family's wealth comes from the brothers, Anali and Sajid Rajabali's holdings in CRDB Bank and the Dar es Salaam stock exchange. Their combined assets are said to be worth over $16.1 million. 21. The Chenj Family The Chenj family is a very popular family in Tanzania. It is the family of one of Tanzania's most famous politicians, Andrew Chenj. He was appointed as the first ever Minister of East African Affairs in the cabinet on January 4, 2006, after serving as Attorney General. On October 15, 2006, he was later appointed Minister of Infrastructure, a position he held until the cabinet was formed on February 12, 2008. He resigned on April 20, 2008, after the UK's serious fraud office discovered that he held $1 million in an offshore account, allegedly as kickbacks from a contentious military radar deal between the Tanzanian government and UK's BAE systems, which he helped to oversee while serving as Attorney General.
The bulk of the Chenge family fortune comes from Andrew Chenge's offshore holdings, which are estimated to be worth over $17 million. 20. The Manic Family Yajish Manik founded the MAC Group in Tanzania in 1980. Its most prominent business is EXIM Bank, one of the three largest banks in Tanzania in terms of customer and asset base. He also owns the heritage insurance company and Strategis, the country's leading health maintenance organization. The family's combined fortune is estimated to be worth over $22 million. 19. The Abood Family the Abood family is the family of the well-known Tanzanian politician Abdulaziz Abood. He has been a Tanzanian member of parliament since 2010 and has a huge number of offshore assets and accounts. The majority of the family's assets are from Abdulaziz Abood's offshore holdings, which are estimated to be worth over $24 million. 18. The Zakaria family The Zakaria family is another popular and wealthy family in Tanzania. It is the family of the late Harun Zakaria. The family has major stakes in Mirza Oil Mills Limited. Mirza Oil Mills Limited has managed to emerge as one of the leading industrial forces in the edible oil and soap sector. With a team of highly qualified experts working under the proficient leadership of the Zakaria brothers, Abdul and Harun Zakaria, the company has set high standards in the manufacture of edible oil, toilet and laundry soaps, margarine, and extraction of oil from sunflower seeds. The Zakaria family's combined fortune is estimated to be worth over $30 million. 17. The Patel Family The Patel family is another well-known family in Tanzania with major holdings in the transportation sector. The Patel family owns Bulk Distributors Limited, one of the largest vehicle maintenance and vehicle distributing services in Tanzania. The bulk of the family's wealth is from J. Patel's holdings in Bulk Distributors Limited. Their combined wealth is estimated to be worth over $46 million. 16. The Abbas Family The Abbas family is one of the most influential families in Tanzania, as it is the family of Sport Pesa Director General, Tarimba Abbas. The family has major holdings in Sport Pesa. He was the former director of national lotteries at the Ministry of Finance and Planning. After that, he moved to be the director general of the Gaming Board of Tanzania. The major reason for their status is due to Tarimba Abbas's stake in Sport Pesa. The family has a combined estimated fortune of $57 million. 15. The Mbao Family the Mabao family is another very influential family in Tanzania. The family of the famous Tanzanian politician and main opposition leader, Freeman Mbao. He was recently arrested with some other party members as they were planning a rally. The state charged him for terrorism and kept him in custody for seven months after which he was released. He was chosen to remain a member of the National Assembly representing the High District in the Kilimanjaro region in 2015. The bulk of the Mbao family's fortune comes from Freeman Mbao's offshore accounts and assets. They are expected to be worth an estimated $69 million. 14. The Rathod Family The Rathod family is another famous and equally very wealthy family in Tanzania due to their stakes in Wimplast Limited. The company's primary offerings are injection-molded plastic chairs, tables, and other furniture. The company's collection includes the newest and most cutting-edge European designs, which stand out for their distinguishing qualities, including brilliant color combinations, ergonomic design for optimal physical comfort, lightweight, 100% termite resistance, low maintenance costs, and low price. The Rathod family equally has a lot of holdings in other companies in Tanzania. The majority of the family's money comes from Gizulul Rathod's stake in Wimplast Limited. They are estimated to have a combined fortune of $84 million. 13. The Turkey Family The Turkey family is one of the famous families in Tanzania, being the family of the late Salem Turkey, or Mr. White, as he was infamously known. He was one of the co-founders and former chairman of the Turkey's group of companies, a conglomerate that includes over 14 firms in the health, tourism, transportation, food and beverage, building materials, oil and gas, communication, engineering, cement production, and real estate sectors. His two sons, Tufik, the chief executive officer, and Abdallah, the executive director, 
run the businesses, which are based on Tanzania's mainland, Zanzibar, and the Comoros Islands. His only daughter, Katham, focuses on her own fashion and cosmetics company. The bulk of the family's current fortune comes from Salon Turkey's stakes in the numerous companies under Turkey's group of companies. Their combined wealth is estimated to be over $93 million. 12. The Sumeya Family The Sumeya family is equally very powerful. The family has a major stake in Shivakam. Shivakam Tanzania Limited was established in 2000, and since then, they have offered services all across Tanzania. Shivakam Tanzania Limited is a member of the Shivakam Group of Companies, a larger organization that focuses on investment firms and real estate, contracting work in grade one automobiles, security measures, and software. The bulk of the family's fortune comes from Tano Samaya's stake in Shivakam. They are estimated to have a combined fortune of over $97 million. 11. The Loessa Family the Loasa family is undoubtedly one of the most famous families in Tanzania. It is the family of Edward Loasa, one of Tanzania's most popular politicians. During the second term of President Ainli Hassan Winnie, Edward Loasa held the position of Minister of State in the Prime Minister's office. He sought the Chama Cha Mapinduzi's presidential nomination in 1995, but Julius Nir Rere, the former president, quickly disqualified him because he felt that Edward Loasso was not yet qualified to serve as president. He kept his seat in the House of Representatives and established himself as a powerful backbencher until 1997, when he was named Minister for State in the Vice President's Office for Environment and Poverty. The bulk of the Loasa family fortune comes from Edward Loasa's offshore holdings and assets. They are estimated to be worth a combined total of over $120 million. 10. The Canabar Family The Canabar family is undoubtedly one of the wealthiest and most influential families in Tanzania due to their shares in the Synarge group of companies. The Synarge group of companies is mainly concerned with recycling batteries, smelting and manufacturing of lead, logistics support, commercial real estate, and warehouses. The majority of the wealth of this family comes from Shekhar Canabar's stake in the Synarge group of companies. The family is said to have a combined fortune of $390 million. 9. The Muhammad Family This is the family of Ghalib Said Muhammad. Ghalib took over the family business that was set up by his father, Ghalib Said Muhammad Sr., who had a successful general commerce company and cashew-growing operation. After Ghalib and his brothers succeeded their father, they continued to grow the empire by crossing Tanzanian borders before ultimately resolving to focus on their individual fields of expertise. Ghalib currently has businesses in China, Dubai, Tanzania, Rwanda, Zambia, the Congo, Burundi, and South Africa, with his commercial interests spanning multiple continents. General commerce, logistics, media, manufacturing, real estate, Retail and financial services are just a few of the numerous industries that Shalib has incorporated into his conglomerate. His group of companies represents some of the well-known international brands from China, Dubai, and Spain, providing a rare opportunity for its customers. Over 2,000 direct people are currently employed by GSM Group, which has also generated a large number of indirect jobs. The bulk of the Muhammad family fortune comes from Ghalib said Muhammad's stake in the numerous companies. The family has a combined fortune of about $480 million. 8. The Awa family The Awa family is one of the most powerful families in Tanzania. Their wealth is a result of their holdings in the Lake Oil group of companies. The company was founded by Ally Awad, a prominent business mogul in Tanzania, in 2006. It is one of East and Central Africa's fastest expanding oil trading and transportation companies. The business is currently among Tanzania's top five petroleum product wholesalers. Additionally, Lake Oil Group markets and distributes fuel products in Zambia, the DRC, Burundi, and Rwanda. It also owns oil storage facilities in Tanzania and the Democratic Republic of Congo. It produces lubricants and ready-mix concrete and has a fleet of more than 400 tankers. Additionally, the Lake Oil Group operates gas stations and trading activities in Canada, the United Arab Emirates, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, and Mozambique. 
The bulk of the Awad family fortune is a result of Ally Awad's stake in the Lake Oil group of companies. They are estimated to be worth over $480 million. 7. The Patel Family The Patel family has major holdings in MMI Steels and Nyaza Road Works. The Patel family cannot be discussed completely without mentioning late Mr. Subash Patel. Mr. Patel was the founder and managing director of Mungusin Group, which is a multi-million dollar business, which is among the leading manufacturers in Tanzania. Mr. Patel, who started his entrepreneurial life as a shopkeeper in his father's shop and later on as a trader selling spices, gradually moved into the automobile business and later into manufacturing. He then went on to build a business empire ranging from manufacturing of steel sheeting and pipes, rubber, paint, and fizzy drinks. The group of companies also runs one of the finest hotel and resort chains in Tanzania under the Sea Cliff and White Sands brand names. Today, the bulk of the family's fortune comes from Subash Patel's fortune. The combined wealth of the entire family is estimated to be worth over $520 million. 6. The Mengi Family the Mengi family is undoubtedly one of the most powerful families in not just Tanzania, but in East Africa as well. It is the family of the late Reginald Mengi. He was the chairman of the Tanzania Private Sector Foundation, Confederation of Tanzania Industries, Media Owners Association of Tanzania, IP Limited, and chairman of Handini Gold Incorporated. In the wake of his passing, his heirs found themselves with a tremendous amount of wealth he had amassed. They are said to be worth over $560 million. 5. The Bakrisa Family The Bakrisa family is a very popular family in Tanzania. Well known for being the family of the business magnate, said Salim Bakrisa. He founded and currently serves as chairman of the Bakrisa group of companies. He is a well-known industrialist on the mainland of Tanzania and the island of Zanzibar. He built the commercial empire in under three decades, starting off modestly as a tiny restaurateur in the 1970s. He left school at the age of 14 to work as a potato mix salesman, and he later rose to prominence as an African businessman. Bakrisa Group is a conglomeration of different businesses, with activities in Tanzania and five other nations. The majority of the Bakrisa family's wealth is from said Salim Bakrisa's investments. They are estimated to be worth over $600 million. 4. The Aziz Family The Aziz family is a well-respected and powerful family in Tanzania. The family is well known for being the family of Rostam Aziz. He owns the largest mobile phone provider in Tanzania, Vodacom Tanzania, which has 15 million members. Originally holding 35% of the company through Cavalry Holdings, Rostam sold 17.2% of Vodacom Tanzania to the Vodacom Group of South Africa on May 2014 for an estimated $250 million. Through his investment company Marambo Holdings, he sold his remaining interest in Vodacom Tanzania in 2019 for $220 million. In addition, he holds shares of Taifa Gas Group, Caspian Mining, MIC Tanzania, PLC, a Tanzanian contract mining company, and properties in Dubai and Oman. Aziz began his career in the family firm before setting out on his own. The bulk of his family's wealth comes from his investments. They are estimated to be worth a combined total of $900 million. 3. The Manji Family The Manji family's popularity is mostly due to Yusuf Manji. He is rumored to have an intense interest in investing in commercial and residential real estate. Additionally, he founded the Quality Group of Companies, which is renowned for upholding its commitment to quality for Tanzanians. He is also well known for his role in Tanzania's auto industry. Despite being a seasoned and well-known estate consultant in Tanzania, Yusuf Manji has carved out a niche for himself among the parastatals of government. This is partly because of his sincerity and the superior services he offers to both his clients and Tanzanian nationals all over the world. The majority of the Manji family's fortune is due to Yusuf Manji's investments. They are said to be worth a combined estimated value of over $960 million. 2. The Rashid Family The Rashid family has one of the most revered reputations in Tanzania. 
The main reason for the family status is probably because it is the family of the prominent business mogul Fida Hossein Rashid. The Afrikarriers Group, a pioneer in the trade of used cars in Tanzania, was established in 1973 by Fida Hussein Rashid. Afrikarriers later became one of the first businesses in East Africa to import Japanese automobiles like Toyota. Currently, the business serves as the only distributor for brands like Golden Dragon and Iker. Today, the bulk of the family's fortune is from Fueda Hussein Rashid's investments. Their combined assets are worth well over $986 million. 1. The Duji Family The Duji family is the most wealthy family in Tanzania and one of the most powerful families in not just Tanzania and East Africa, but the entire continent of Africa. Their meteoric rise to status and power is due to their holdings in the metal group of companies. The metal group was founded by the late Kulamabas Duji. It is now run by his son Mohamed Duji, the current wealthiest man in Tanzania and the 13th richest man in Africa. Metal Group is active in textile manufacturing, flour milling, beverages and edible oils in Eastern, Southern and Central Africa. Metal Group operates in at least six African countries and has ambitions to expand to more. Mohamed Duji is Tanzania's only billionaire. He also signed the Giving Pledge in 2016, promising to donate at least half his fortune to philanthropic causes. The Duji family fortune is said to be worth over $1.6 billion. Tanzania is seen as a developing country, and the majority of its wealthy citizens do not envision the country ever becoming developed without a lot of work. The wealthiest families in Tanzania are accomplishing this by making substantial investments in the nation which have a lot to do with business conglomerates. It's like Tanzanian entrepreneurs took the phrase don't put all your eggs in one basket a little seriously because very few families on our list have invested in a single idea but rather a whole bunch of different ventures which has been key to their success and their investments are helping to strengthen the economy of the nation. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can become part of our online community of touristers here on The New Tourist. Thanks for watching and see you guys in our next video.